Zhang Xinxiangqi. Zhang Xinxiangqi. But I think as I watch it more and more, I kind of realize that some of it is very organic. Like when you hear Joy sing her first Hokkien song, that is uh, Xingang Bao Bei. It's kind of ironic that the song was sung by Feng Fei Fei as her. A tribute to her son, you know, it's about looking mother, mother to child. Yeah, but, but now I she's think, singing as a child to. to but there was a reversal of role, which I think that song has that resonance, and I think in a way, some of the songs are picked not because they are popular or because, but because I think in a way they work very organically with the emotion of the film, especially about Wu Zhi Pian Yun. I think you, I mean, even though that meshes with the mother's name Ling Mei Yun, but I think it also represents a kind of yearning to be free. Which is universal for all these characters who are trapped either in a lonely job, in like in insecurities, and so I think a lot of it is very um, organic. You may not realize it, but when you sing it, you know it. Um, her range is uh, her vocal range is very wide, and she's very powerful. She basically like is like a uh, do to another don't know how many do's you know further out. So she is really powerful in that sense, and um, she. She's very well known for even when she's crying, she can she sing. Can sing, yes. Uh, a bit crazy, like. I've seen the video. <laughs> which I tell you is actually not possible. You know, if your nostrils are very small like mine, you basically get stuck and you can't sing anymore. Oh, you did that. <laughs> 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 there was a shot of you while you're crying and then you're singing at the same time. Ah uh, yes, yes. Um, it, it's very hard, but I feel um. For every singer, and I think with my background, where I've sung a lot of uh, cover songs, I think it certainly helped because people has, uh, have asked me many, many uh, for all over the years, uh, say, Oh, how do you do your own songs? I say, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain, but basically, you will have your own rendition and um, you will interpret it in your own way because we live in different eras. And uh, it helps that when you're very familiar with the song, you can interpret it in a different way. I mean, that's the case for me. But maybe for some people, they'll say, it's already so familiar, I want to sing it like her. But uh, that's never how I interpret it. So I try my best, like, and I try to stretch my vocals as much as I can. Try to be as powerful as I can, but I don't you know. So the question now is back to Royston. Mm. Uh, casting of Joy. Now, now that she has performed the role, powerful enough, <laughs> okay, maybe you share how, how you cast her in the <laughs> How do you find her performance? Uh, I, I, I think I, I have to say that, uh, that maybe a lot of people didn't really know that uh, if you hear the Zhang Sen Xiang Xi, that part, uh, if you were to see very carefully, right, there is a earpiece over here. It means that actually she's singing live. Yeah, it was captured live voice and she had to act and perform with the kind of emotions. Uh, that to me, uh, was a very powerful performance. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and, you know that we did it only just two takes. The, the monologue was so long. Like she talking about the father and the, 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 with the emotion turn back and continue to. Yeah. 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 We have, but we have two cameras to capture to capture to save time. Yeah. If not. <laughs> Turn with it quickly, yeah. Because we, actually she walked very long, so so I shortened it by using two cameras. Yeah, so uh, so that was one continuous emotion, and after you got to sing, so I think she just really let it all out and melted it all out. So that was what I felt. It was she she made the character her. Uh, uh, she, owned the character. she owned the character, and that was very magical about Joy. My greatest memory of Feng Fei Fei is when I was very young. Very, 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 very young. <laughs> so I'm not that old yet. Okay. <laughs> no, but about maybe uh, five to eight years old, I think I always see her on uh, local TV. A Pimpin Pasan. Yeah, oh. around there. So you always have a very... Um, I don't know, she just stands out uh, at that point of time because She's always in pants and a hat, and she's always very cool, you know, for the era. There's no such female singer like her. And I felt uh, that was the greatest memory of her to me. And uh, I think, yes, as a child, you are definitely um, uh, a fan of hers. Um, after that, it was replaced by other people. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, and all my idols after that were all male singers. <laughs> Not because they are handsome, but they can sing very well, okay. Um, and um, 
is I did quite a lot of research on uh, Feng Fei Fei through the internet. I didn't know much about her. I thought she's the diva kind. But after I did um, uh, some YouTube research, then I realized that she's actually a very down-to-earth person. And she treats her fans very, very well. And she actually gave up her singing career when she was at the peak to get married in Hong Kong and just lead a very simple um, life. And she basically goes to the market every morning to, to buy vegetables and fish or whatever to go back and cook for the family. So I think for a diva at that era, because there's really not a lot of divas and she's really the diva, right? So I thought, wow, this is um, pretty amazing. It's something that I learned about her and I felt her spirit was um, very strong in, in as a person who is very determined and uh, has perseverance and you know she sticks to whatever she believes in and I thought that is something that uh, will resonate with me very well uh, because she, she will give me give a lot of people positivity and that is what uh, Fei Fei in the uh, movie actually relies on to keep her life going to keep herself motivated as the fake Fei Fei you know so I yeah, so that's that's about the research I did about her. Mm.